Hello there people, it's me once again, Renegade Falls, as you can see even by my name on, uh, on the screen there, and this is Smite. Now, uh, this has just come off beta on uh, on the x -Born. it's been out for years on uh, on PC, but unfortunately until recently I didn't have a PC that could uh, play it, and uh, well it's on x now so I mean as well play it on there. Um, so Smite, it's a, it's a MOBA. But uh, unlike most MOBAs, which are top down, uh, this one is a um, third person game. And um, there's a few different game modes. Um, hang on, let's go back. A few different types of game modes. Uh, there's the practice mode, where you just learn how to play the game, pretty obvious. Uh, you got co op, where it's um, you and other people uh, in your preferred region. Mind you, Rup, because that's where I am. Um, play against uh, play against the AI uh, opponents um, that the game will choose for you. I, th I think they're randomly generated, whatever. Then you've got Versus, where you play against actual people. Um, then there's League, which you have to be level 30 to, to play in. And you need to have um, mastered 16 gods. And then there's Custom Match, you just make your own match. Uh, now, inside each game type, or, or each variant. There's there's a couple of different game types. So there's arena, which I'll probably play now, um, which is a, a is a ticket uh, based game. So you you play against five other people. You play with five people. No, wait, and you play with four people. Even there's five of you against five other people, and your goal is just to get rid of the the, the minion tickets that uh, that your opponents have. Um, Joust is three v three. Uh, single lane. Conquest is three lanes. Uh, it's basically the same thing as Joust, but it's in three lanes. Uh, Assault is one lane again, uh, but it's random random gods. It just chooses one at random, and that's who you play. Uh, siege is 4v4 with two lanes, but there's siege minions that can spawn and just kill stuff. And then that's the, the daily special playlist, so today's shorthanded. Which is uh, which is just the conquest, but instead of having five v five, it's three v three. Now, uh, as I said, I'm going to play arena, and um, I probably will cut this bit out because it's <laughs> it's just waiting for the for the match to to, oh, to find a match. So yeah, um, I'll probably cut back in once I find one. All right, so finally got a match, and I'm going to filter all the gods that I've mastered. There's quite a lot of gods in the game. I think there's like as well. I think there's like 67 of them, and you can see, I'll just flick, I'm not going to go through each individual one, but I'll just spin through them all quickly, but uh, yeah, so you've got quite a, a roster of uh, potential gods, so I'm probably going to play as Nox, because Nox is my current favourite, um, and I'm going to sneeze, so I'll apologise for that now. <coughs> Alright, so yeah, as I was saying, uh, Nox is my current favourite, um, I don't get many kills, as you can see I've played 32 games and I've got 135 kills, it's not actually that much, but I do get a lot of assists. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so this is Arena, uh, which is sort of, it, the, the map is basically a Roman Colosseum, sort of, in design, and uh, oh, here we go, you can see it now. Uh, I'm gonna buy my book as usual. Uh, so it's a, it's a a large coliseum sort of area. Y you've got uh, the jungles on either side, uh, where you've got uh, a mana camp, an attack speed camp, and a physical damage camp. And you just kill the beasts there to to get it. Uh, my team is the is the on the map on the bottom there the orange team. The the opposing team is blue. Um, you don't. Uh, it's not like certain games where you have an assigned color, um, but just to keep things extra confusing, um, the the 500 counters on the on the underneath the map. Your team is always blue, and the enemy team is always red. So even though I'm playing as orange, which is closer to red, uh, my counter is in blue. Don't know why that's uh, the way it is, but it just is. Um, uh, so yeah, the the way you get those those numbers down is by killing the minions. 
like I just dropped my lovely ability on them. Uh, you kill the minions, each minion you kill drops the total by one. Uh, so one just died there. Um, and each god you kill drops the total by five. And the goal is just to to get the, the counter down to zero before um, the, your opponents. There's no time limit. Um, you keep going until one team's lost or one team surrenders. Which you can do in the start menu. But uh, you should never surrender unless you're really, really, really doing bad. Uh, like, you're down by a couple hundred points. Um, which you might think, like, we're going down quite gradually. My team's actually losing by one. But, um, that does happen where uh, <laughs> there, there was one game I played where my team won by 322 points. So, yeah. And, uh, and that's not helped by people disconnecting and stuff like that. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so, uh, had an interruption there. Um... Oh yeah. Anyway, uh, as you can see, I'm playing. I'm playing as um, Nox, like like I've said a couple of times already. Um, Nox is a mage character. Uh, she does magical damage. There's two types of damage in the game: magical and physical. Um, mage. There's uh, there's what four, to f four five classes um, within the game itself as well. So ma mages obviously do magical damage. Um, warriors do physical. Assassins do physical. Um, Hunters do physical, and then guardians do magical as well. Guardians are sort of like basically tanks. Um, mages are your primary magical physical uh, magical damage dealers. If you're gonna um, play arena, I'd probably suggest maybe having two uh, magic, at least two magic damage characters. I think our team currently has three. Um, we've got Kronos, who's currently blasting next to me. We've also got Hades as well. He's a he's a guardian technically, but I always assume he's like a mage. So there's Hades to my right now as well. Uh, and we got Hunter, we got uh, Zabalank, he's the Jaguar man who's currently in front of me. And then we got Loki who's over there with his weird sort of Chaos Space Marine backpack looking thing. And um, the other team uh, the other team seems to be mostly made up of physical characters. Looks like we've got Anubis, Odin, uh, Uller, and... Uh, Ch change Changi, I don't know how to say it. This uh, some Chinese name, and uh, Amuzen Cab, who's like the bee man, which is why you can see beehives all over the place too. Um, and those bees almost hit me. He's a pretty good character. Um, I enjoy playing as. But um, each each um, each different character has their own abilities, has their own passives, has their own uh, attacks. Uh, there's some that might be similar to others. I don't think I've ever noticed any that are I identical, so to speak. But um, they, they tend to be quite varied. So uh, Loki is basically uh, he's a he's a assassin class. Uh, he will just basically distract uh, the enemies and do as much damage as he can to them, and he can turn invisible and sneak up behind them. And I think his passive ability is that he does more damage if you come up and attack people from behind as well. Um, Hades uh, basically just drags, he drags everybody, his, his ultimate ability is he drags everybody towards him, he has a, an area of effect which uh, I actually, like, I, I saw a few minutes ago but I didn't point that out, um, where he drags everybody close to him and, uh, and does damage over time to them. Um, then we got uh, Zabalank, Zabalank's a bit weird, uh, his passive ability is that every time he kills a god he gains in physical power. But his other abilities, I don't, I don't know. I don't really like the character that much. He's okay, but I don't. I, I, it's not one of my preferred characters. I've never played as Kronos, so I don't know what his abilities are. But he does seem to have. So I think his ultimate ability is something about winding time back, and he actually heals himself. And um, and then yeah, so uh, then there's me. There's Nox. Uh, my the ability I've got out. I'm about to use now is a Dome of Silence. It silences all your enemy gods whilst they're within it. And uh, after a few seconds, it detonates and does damage, which is why I keep putting it on the minions because it actually kills them quite quickly. Um, then I got this uh, this bird ability, which I will probably demonstrate uh, once I get closer to an enemy god. Basically, it roots roots enemy gods in place and does damage over time to them. So if you manage to get a god inside the bubble of doom, you want to try and lock them down um, so that uh, they'll they'll stay within the explosion radius because you don't take damage until the explosion with this lovely 
dark bubble. Like that. Um, I've got a dash ability, which I rarely use myself, uh, unless I'm trying to escape. And then the ultimate ability is this uh, giant black orb, which I will throw if I can find an enemy who's quite weak. Here we go. Whoop. Boom. Didn't kill him, but somebody else did, so that's fine. Um, which also does damage over time, that that thing, so that's always good fun. And um, it seems actually doing relatively well at the moment. Win then, we're up one kill. The, the kill count is at the top of the screen there, so we've killed three, they've killed two. Uh, underneath that is my current stats, so I don't have any kills yet, but I've I've got uh, zero deaths and two assists. That's pretty. That's pretty decent. Stay within the bubble. There we go. Um, that first item I bought, the book as well. It's a it's a special item that you can get stacks on. And uh, oh, here we go. Maybe I'll be able to. There we go. I rooted it in place. The other guy can escape. It's always that's one way I like to use this uh, the Raven sort of ability as well. Is you drop it on top of. Uh, enemy who's chasing one of your allies who's got low health and they can escape then. Oh, I missed it, um, it's just difficult to aim I find anyway. Uh, the the ability because it has it has to be 100% accurate for it to work. Um, all right, you're done. You can also do things like that. Oh well, if I if you hadn't died, I demonstrated it. So inside Hades Ultimate, which was that little black circle of nuts there. Um, if the enemy doesn't die, you can root it. Uh, you can root the enemy whilst they're inside his um, area of effect, which also stops them from trying to use like dashes, I believe, to escape. Because you can escape Hades Ultimate with a dash. Um, but if you if you lock them down whilst they're inside there, after his ability finishes, if they're not dead, you might get lucky with Nox and kill them off with it, uh, with with your ability. That is. Um, or you can just hold them in place so that whoever else is there can just hit them once and hopefully kill them. Um, yeah, I I am liking this game. It uh, it literally um, came out, or it it was proper released on Xbox uh, One on the 19th of August, which was a couple of days ago. Um, or at least it was a couple of days ago once I I filmed this. Uh, but I did play it whilst it, it was in beta as well. Which is why I'm I'm quite high. Oh, I say I'm quite high. I'm, I'm I am high level for the game. Um, it's good fun. I enjoy playing it. I played it with a couple of friends. If you can get a, a group of people to play with you, it's even better because you can actually plan things. You can actually like if you play conquest on your own. Um, you can send messages to people by pushing the D-pad. It just pops up that menu on the other side there, and you can send messages to people. But it's not. 100% like uh, accurate to what you might want to say. You can tell people, oh, attack the right lane, attack the left lane, retreat, things like that. Basic stuff, which is pretty useful, but you can't say, like, uh, I've seen an enemy in this location, sort of thing. You can just say, oh, enemies are missing here, and attack here, which might not get the message across. You might be like, oh, there's an enemy missing over here, but um, can you attack over there instead, sort of thing. Um, which you know it's it's not the best in the world. But if you if you've got a group of people, or if you have a microphone, you actually talk to people. Um, you can actually get a good game out of it. Uh, not that I'm saying that the messages the message system is like flawed. You that you can actually get the the meaning across with the message system as well, relatively well. Um, it's just not as useful as actually being able to talk to people. Uh, let's drop another sound bubble there. Oop. Um, so yeah, uh, every kill you get, um, or assist, you get a bit of gold. I'm going to actually spend some of mine right now because I, I need to buy an item. Um, and the more gold you have, the more items you can buy. There's, uh, so this is just the stuff that I've pre-prepared for that I'm going to buy. But um, there's actually a, a large list of things that are purchasable, uh, purchasable in the game. So there's like all these things that you could buy if you want to. But this is the build I like, so I'm just buying these specific items. Um, oh, we got another kill. That's the other thing. Uh, this is pretty good as well, as it tells you whoever, like, whenever someone kills anybody, it pops it up on your screen. Um, so you never miss a kill. And it, uh, if you're playing in the other game modes, it sort of prompts you to look in that direction. So I don't know. Say if you know someone's on the right lane and they die. Because it shows you whenever an ally's killed as well. Um, you know, oh, 
when you died over there, you have a quick look at their part of the map, and you can it gives you a few seconds of uh, uh, like sight what they could see like um, on your mini map. Your red little red dots will be enemy minions, and then as you can see, there's the the face of like the character that you can see there. Um, so you can check it out and see if there's a, a few people over there, if they were just act they just sort of had bad luck and were killed by one person. Ooh. Uh, I don't want to die, so I'll just dash away from that. Um, yeah, so it, it, it the map is actually really useful. It's really well made as well. Um, can't buy anything, can I? I could buy a chest plate. Um, yeah, so it, it, it's it's the arena. You don't have to pay attention to the map too much. You can just look at what's going on uh, because most of the time. Everything happens in this little middle area. Sometimes you'll get small conflicts out by the um, camps, but that's rarely a thing. In in the sort of versus mode, it might be different in League. Like I say, you have to be level 30 and you have to have mastered 16 gods to play League, and I haven't yet, so I can't. Um, but hopefully, maybe after this match, I'll have hit level 30. Um, are they gonna, yeah, they're going to come back in the line, okay. Uh, that's, that's basically <laughs> that's basically all the backstory about the game. Oh, uh, and yeah, so you can see in the on the top right as well. That's that's your, uh, the enemy gods that are currently playing, and you can see that somebody's disconnected. That can happen in this game. Um, there's a few games I've played where someone's disconnected. It seems that a lot of people rage quit this game. So if they're just doing, it doesn't have to be like super badly. If they're doing sort of not well people will rage quit and it, it annoys the hell out of me. I don't see the point. Um, there have been occasions when uh, I ha I've seen an entire team disconnect but I think that was something to do with the servers because they sort of all left at the exact same time and I think two people from my team were disconnected as well from what I remember. Um, so that probably wasn't really their fault but it, it just I don't understand why people would rage quit. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, because you can always turn things around. Uh, that's how I <laughs> see things. Anyway, if you're not doing, I mean, okay, th this team is down by a hundred on me at the moment. But I've played games where I was down by a hundred, and okay, we still lost, but we brought it back to within twenty points. Like I, it's it's a bit senseless to just disconnect. I, I don't mind so much if if your whole team decides to surrender. Because then your team's like, okay, well, we're not going to win this, so we may as well give up. And you've done it as a group effort sort of thing. It's a vote that it works on. Uh, and it's a majority vote as well. So if you don't get the majority, then it, it, won't, it won't activate the, the, the surrender sort of um, screen. But um, if you just up and quit, uh, well, sort of, you, you just, you're just a dick, basically. So <laughs> don't do it, people. It annoys me greatly. Um... So this big thing in front of me as well, which has just died as well, he's like a, a siege minion. If he gets to the portal, I think he counts as five points um, off the total. So you want to stop them whenever you can too. Um, they get close to you sort of thing. Oop. Uh, where have you gone? Where are you going? My, where's my team? My team are all sort of recovering by look things. You missed me. Uh, here comes my team. So uh, the, the other way you can lose points as well. So you obviously killing minions drops um, the total amount of minions you have and your opponents have. But if they manage to get to the giant portal as well, either end. Same with the siege giant. That's what I mean by losing five points for the siege giant. Uh, they'll they'll jump into the portal, and I think every minion counts as two points off your total, and every siege giant counts as uh, five. Uh, off your total, and I don't think if if a uh, if a minion jumps into the portal, I don't think it takes that minion away from your current total sort of thing. So these minions in front of me now, there's I, we're at 161. If they were to jump into the portal, I don't think it counts as uh, the, the five of them coming off our total sort of thing. I think their their tickets get recycled. I'm not entirely sure about that, but yeah. Um. So yeah. The, uh, the <laughs> This this game sort of looks like it's in the bag. I didn't die, which is great fun. I, um, not often that I don't die at all in a match. Um, I know why Hades is over there using his ultimate ability. He looks a bit daft, really. Um, there's an enemy inside their base, then you can't really harm them. 
Um, can I get you? Are you gonna die? I'd like to get a kill. Ah, damn it. Oh, I've got an assist off Loki. That's that's fine, I guess. Let's get rid of that as well. Um, Loki's dead. Retreated faster, but whatever. Uh, and yeah, we got four points, so I probably win the game. Um, although yeah, that's another thing I've noticed. I don't understand why that happens either. So I, until you get to about. 50 points left and once you kill a minion it doesn't seem to count one for one anymore and I don't really understand why um, I don't know if it's because we're so far ahead of the other team it's almost like every wave counts as one minion so there we go see there was three left we killed the whole wave and then one minion came off their total um, or one ticket I should say came off their total can I get you? Oh, no I didn't but somebody else killed someone and, uh, and we won so I got another assist for it so, um, in short, uh, that was quite a quick game, actually, 16 minutes. That's, um, that's Smite in a tea. This, uh, you get to celebrate and stuff. Minions do random dancing on the floor. I don't get it, but there we go. Um, yeah, so that was, uh, that was Smite uh, Arena. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't like the video, um... I don't know, uh, watch some other videos of mine, and maybe you'll like those instead, I guess, maybe. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. Ooh, eight, eight, uh, try level up? No, I'm close to. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Ta-da!